Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the off-grid cabin. This is Friday, May 12th, how y'all are. Had a beautiful day yesterday and the day before, and I was so happy yesterday when I saw the weather forecast had changed for out here to no rain. Somebody forgot to send that memo to Mother Nature because she's getting ready to rain pretty good out here. So, the original plans I had aren't exactly going to work out. Uh, so, I, there's plenty of other things to do. Uh, let's see. I mean, I was planning on doing that boring mowing thing and weed eating around the cabin now that I got a weed eater working. But that may be out. One thing that's on the agenda for this weekend is I need to build some shelving in the barn over where the shop area is going to be. So I think that's a project I can do in the rain. And then hopefully Gary's going to be able to make it out tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, then Sunday. And we'll do some live streaming from the barn. We'll be making more floor joist sets. Uh, sections so that'll be one thing we're gonna do but it's pretty uh <laughs> in fact i think i feel raindrops it's supposed to be no rain all day imagine that so i don't know if you can see what's going on here with the clouds ain't no sun ain't no sunshine when she's gone <laughs> Okay, enough of that. I'm not worried about getting a copyright strike. I'm worried about getting strikes because I'm no good. Uh, there's probably the mailman going by. She doesn't care about the rain. I don't know who it was. <laughs> oh, well. Ah... Uh, what else is happening, folks? Ain't a whole lot. I want to show you what I'm going to use to make my shelves. I'm trying to clean up the bottom of this barn. Not having a lot of luck because I run out of places to put things. <laughs> so I put things back where they were to begin with. But we'll get it. I got the top part cleaned out. Man, it sure is getting uh, overgrown again. It's so fast it takes over. Just amazing. We're going down to the bottom. Well, I'll show you the garden, or lack of garden. I think, you know, I'm going to pull the tarps off and try to till it again. Depending on how much rain we get, I know it's going to rain tomorrow. But depending on how much rain we get, I'm able to pull the tarp. I may be able to get all the tarps off and retill it. And get it ready to start planting. Now, like I said before, I'm just going to throw some stuff out here and see what grows. I mean, I'm not just going to throw the seeds out, but I'm going to plant just whatever I have. And uh, see what grows. And pick up all my billboards. Love these billboards. But yeah, I wanted to get all this weed eating done around the barn. But I'm not sure I'm going to get that opportunity this weekend either. And I got to get my drain up there. My downspout going. But I uncovered something in the barn that I think I can make work. Because I don't really have to put a downspout in in the sense of the word i mean there's the 
place up there for it where the downspout was but if I just get something up against there I'm going to attach it to the siding of the barn and get it to come into these tanks here because I'm going to have to have water for the garden and I've got another one of these totes inside so I'll hook up all four of those that's what all these blocks are for is to get, get them up off of the ground but I had to use the blocks for the tarps but I have something in here that just might work. We'll have to see. I don't have a ladder to get me up that high. But I don't have to get up that high. I can get up halfway and if I got a long enough piece of, of downspout, I can just push it up there. I'm not going to worry about getting up there, screwing everything in and making it like a professional job. I just need it to work. But in here... You will see. I have a bunch of this 4 inch or 6 inch Schedule 80 PVC water line. And I'm like, I could probably put that up there. This was left over from a job the city did and Gary gave to me. Um, I think I get some strapping, strap it up against the uh, side of the barn and voila I'll be getting water off the <laughs> roof of the barn and I'm not, it's not going to be drinking water it's not going to be showering water washing dishes water uh, it's strictly going to be for watering the garden when it needs it and two of those tubs or two of these totes had lime in them from, from the water department and two of them had uh, um, what's the fertilizer geez I got it off a farmer two of them makes things grow real big anyway that's what was in the tubs so that'll do my garden some good but yeah I think I can figure out a way to use those I got a ladder to get me up high enough to where I can get that up against the the barn it's not going to be holding, there's no pressure or anything going to be on it, so. That I think we can make work with what we have, and I don't have to buy nothing. That makes it all the better. Uh, same thing with this shelving I'm going to do. I have all this pallet wood over here that I've had forever. And you see all those two buys there? Those are going to be my uprights and my shelves. Um, I mean, I don't need a lot. I got a bunch of two by eights down there too. I got to dig those out. I think those are eight footers. We'll find out because you know I'm using two by eights. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I get to use up some of this pallet wood I've had down there for a couple years. I got some. Four 10 foot 2 by 8s I found out there. I'm telling you. I got a gold mine of lumber without even realizing it. But there's my other tote. I got to unbury it. Bunch more 2 before stock. Just oddball stock that I can use for the shelving. And then I've got all this uh, OSB. And this plywood stuff, scrap pieces of plywood for the actual shelving itself. So I'm going to get some, a lot of nice shelving for free. You know, the only thing it's going to cost me are the screws that hold it together. I got more 2 by there. Man, what a mess. All them pallets. So I'm going to use those blocks and the pallets. To put the totes on that'll get them up high enough for me to connect them all together with the plumbing and uh, I think too I'm gonna put up wire fencing whoops around the uh, garden but I might use all these fence panels to encircle it too 
to help keep critters out. Because I've got all of that. I've got all of these over here. I've got them stacked down there. <laughs> so I've got plenty uh, to try to do around the garden area. But yeah, that's uh, kind of what's on the agenda today. Or this weekend. I'm more working on clearing out the barn. I would take you inside, but I haven't unlocked it yet. We'll get to that later. But yeah, I can feel sprinkles of rain. Damn it. I might have to sell this place. There's another car going by. Good to be too much traffic out here. All these damn people wanting to move to the country. Starting to buy up property around here. <laughs> they saw my YouTube channel and decided to come out here. Also, I was wondering... If you look at New York, Chicago, LA, how much they pay for people to house immigrants. Think how many I can house in this barn. And the bottom of the barn and the top of the barn. How much money do you think I could get if I let them house a bunch of immigrants here? <laughs> it might be how I can make money to pay for my house. I don't know. Also, I may not be able to do my uh, From the Gas Station vlog Monday night. I'm doing a podcast. I got invited to do a podcast uh, with somebody. <laughs> so, I've never done one of those before. But they sent me... Uh, you know, the format of the show and some of the questions they want to ask and just have a discussion about, you know, buying property, building cabins, building houses, living off grid, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, wow, you want to ask me? <laughs> that was pretty cool. So it's going to be, they're going to call me at 6 Monday night. And it should be over about 7 or 7.30. And then once I'm done with that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have time to put a, one of my From the Gas Station vlogs together. And so I might have to do that Tuesday night. Which would be okay. But yeah, I think the podcast will be published where you can listen to it Thursday, I think he said. I don't know. I've never done one. I don't know how they work. You know, they're going to call me on the phone and we're going to have a conversation. I'm, I'm going to be working at the gas station. So I'm going to have Nick come down at 6 o'clock. Then I can go sit in the lube bay <laughs> and do it. And then come back out and then Nick can go home. I can finish out the night. But that's how we're going to try it. But this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres. I will definitely talk to y'all later. I'm out.